good morning and welcome to an episode of Camilla and I. I'm Mark Cooper and here we are today at Farlington Marshes once again. But today we've come back and we've got the long lens on. And the reason we've got the long lens on is we're going for small birds. And uh, so I've got the uh, 600mm Sony F4 on, the Sony A1 and we're currently set to uh, stabilization off because we're on a uh, on a tripod and uh, we've gone for spot metering one thousandth of a second f4 as the uh, principal button mode so uh, we can capture anything that uh, appears before us so we've got great diffused light today on uh, camilla and i it's a, uh, a lovely sort of softbox effect. The sun does occasionally break through the clouds. And in the uh, lighter reeds, we're coming in at an ISO of 160. And in the darker reeds, about 200, varying on the uh, cloud and sun conditions at the time. Yeah, so if I knew exactly where the birds were gonna land, I could probably put the 1.4 teleconverter on. Um, but it's a bit like picking them out at the moment because uh, the turn up in all sorts of uh, nooks and crannies. I think we've got um, a pair of, uh, I don't know if it's a pair, but yeah, it must be a pair. We've got a pair of uh, bearded tit seem to be building a nest somewhere in the middle of the reeds. And again, they don't always land in exactly the same spot. So uh, it's not quite like picking them out of the sky. You do actually have to acquire the bird before you can uh, zoom in on it focus in on it and that's why we're using the spot focus because it is a static subject essentially when we uh, eventually muscle in on it oh anyone must go a minute possible bearded tip Ooh. So we're filming just off the uh, pathway here, overlooking the uh, reed beds from the main sort of hut down here on the right. And uh, we're using the 600 millimeter and we're not going any closer because uh, we really don't know where these, uh, these things are gonna land. Anything could land, could land within 15 feet, could land within 60 foot and um, we really don't want to miss the shot so i could put the 1.4 converter on but that would uh, take me to uh, f5.6 and i'm getting a lovely shallow depth of field at f4 at the moment overlooking the reed bed so i don't want to ruin that and we're using auto iso f4 one thousandth of a second And the also ISO is coming in between 160 and 200 at the moment. Absolutely brilliant. So the idea is you just scan the reeds and uh, wait to see any movement at all. And the moment you see uh, a bit of movement, you focus in on it and uh, grab the action. So, oh, here we go. There was a bird gathering a feather nesting material just following it across so we're sort of trying to be above the reeds slightly here which does give our position away but we have to take the shot so it's a bit of a compromise and as long as you stay still that's the main thing the birds tend not to uh, move you we try and avoid rapid movements Ooh. discos don't start doing Saturday night fever unless you've got cramp, you know. Yeah, just stay still and uh, stay quiet. So I don't know why I'm talking to you. Okay. Well, I've just increased my ISO to uh, 1 1,500th of a second. So I've just had a bearded tip fly across at about oh, 45, 50 feet away with a um, piece of nesting material. And um, because I only had one one thousandth of a second on, 
it didn't quite freeze the action. So uh, linked to uh, a not quite frozen action of um, bearded tit with uh, nesting material. So yeah, it's one to watch. I mean, you, uh, you're always playing a balance with uh, photography. Um, occasionally you will miss the shot and that's why I tend to go for a uh, higher shutter speed on the, with the in-flight mode so you're ready for any instant action. One one thousandth of a second on this occasion has not quite cut it so uh, yeah, missed shot but uh, it does happen so uh, yeah I've upped it to uh, one fifteen hundredth of a second now which should freeze the action just about I could probably go to one two thousandth of a second if it did it again, but I'd uh, just have to flick the uh, flick the switch one notch, switch, flick the uh, shutter speed up one. Brilliant! Yes, yeah, so I've already been lucky this morning to get the uh, bearded tit. Uh, I've got a male bearded tit, and um, just heard the uh, ping. And I literally only just moved to this location just here, and um, that's why you've got to be ready. I was literally in on it in a flash and I was able to get some good shots of the bearded tip F4 um, ISO 160 um, and uh, one thousandth of a second just with a bit of uh, material in its mouth I think it had material oh no it was, um, it was just on its own but uh, yeah absolutely superb okay or reed bunting just dropped in then slightly distracted dropped in a bit of a dip here they're in, in a bit of a a dip in the reed bed so uh, yeah I think that's why they're nesting here so uh, yeah that's great so yeah we've got reed bunting which I haven't got on film yet um, reed warblers a pair of reed warblers and a uh, pair of uh, well, I presume it's a pair I've only seen the male bearded tit so far so uh, male bearded tit but uh, yeah some beautiful subjects so while well, we're hanging around, especially with diffused light, superb. Anyway, must go again. so it's well worth taking weather conditions into account so we've got this glorious soft box but we do have a bit of a breeze blowing it must be a 15 to 20 mile an hour gust I would say so uh, again another good reason for upping the uh, shutter speed to uh, 1 1500 per second still coming out at ISO 200 so even though it's still a dull day today we still want to keep the sun at our back ideally so obviously it does pop out occasionally but it's still a very good idea to have the uh, direction of the light behind you even if you have got a beautiful diffused box so as usual the best time to come is first thing in the morning obviously uh, the uh, less people around the better and indeed um, this pathway has got a little bit busier now so the uh, birds visits back to their sort of nesting sites are becoming a little bit more infrequent as uh, more people pile in. So it's great to get a bit of footage of the bearded tit um, with its uh, partner I take it. So I can see Farlington Marshes is going to be very good for the bearded tit and uh, normally we wouldn't come at this time of year. Normally it's an autumn trip where the uh, seed heads are the principal food source and that way the bearded tit do tend to uh, frequent the top of the reeds more so uh, we'll definitely be back in autumn for the bearded tit but uh, very nice so far today anyway well i keep listening out for the telltale ping of the uh, bearded tit obviously the star of the show this morning but uh, yeah there's other things around as well but uh, they're not showing well now so i think they'll be uh, off soon so uh, anyway 
have a good one bye from Farlington Marsh small birds Camilla and I <laughs>